Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Hope you're doing all right. I um, I want to apologize for the light. I gotta get some curtains to go over these windows. I mean, I've got blinds on them, but it's still just bringing in so much light. It's washing me out, and I can't even see myself hardly. But anyway, um, title says you know something about body shaming and body body positivity, and. I wanted to share my thoughts on that. I got to thinking about it because um, I've had some comments lately about it, about me being an example of body positivity and all that, almost like they were complimenting me or like applauding me for it. And no, that's not the case. I'm not, I'm not trying to show body positivity. Um, I don't necessarily agree that body positivity is a good thing. I'm not saying body shaming's bad. I mean, good. Sorry, that was totally. I'm not saying body shaming's good, but body positivity isn't always healthy, especially when you look at some of how people describe it. And that's kind of what I want to look at because... Neither one's cut and dry. From what I understand, and then I even looked up definitions online to even say, hey, you know, this is what people are thinking. Um, body positivity is pretty much saying any body type's okay. It's beautiful. You, you know, you embrace any body type and you love it because... We're all people, we're all meant to be loved, and we come in all shapes and sizes. And, you know, I agree with the, we're all people. We should all be loved. We do all come in shapes and sizes. But some of those sizes should not be accepted. Me. And like I said, I may piss some people off here, but we should never be po body positive about this. You guys have seen me. I'm huge. I mean, I'm in the process of losing weight. I've lost 70, 80 pounds in the past several months, and I'm still stupidly, horribly, disgustingly fat. And I know a lot of you are going, no, no, you know, you're not really. No, yes. I've lost 80 pounds, and I'm still over 550 pounds. There's no way to be, oh, your body's okay the way it is. It is not. And convincing people that it is, is wrong. That's enabling. If you have somebody in your family that you're, you're a friend that you love, that you genuinely care about, and they're a big old fat mess like me. When I say big old fat, I don't mean somebody who's 50, 60 pounds overweight. I'm not talking about somebody who's like, oh, they're 250 or oh, even I need somebody who's 300. If you're five foot 11, six foot tall and 300 pounds, you know what? You're a big person. You're not like me. But if you have somebody in your life who's like me, you got somebody who's 400 pounds, 500 pounds, 600 pounds, 700 pounds like I was at one point, do not tell them you're okay like you are. You can tell them, I love you. I love you for the person you are. And because I love you, I want you to stop being so fat. Because do not sit there and encourage somebody to stay four, five, six hundred pounds. You can say, hey, I love you like you are. But yes, I agree. You need to do something. Get up. Do something. If you can't do something, if you can't walk, Get help. Find somebody to teach you some modified exercises. Find a way to do something for mobility challenge people. I need to do better myself. I'm still not doing better, and I've been working on this forever. You guys know that. But if nothing else, sit here and do this. Sit there with your fat friend and say, hey, come here. Let's do this for a few minutes. Because I guarantee you, once they're at the point where they're over four or 500 pounds, they're probably not getting a lot of motion. And believe it or not, this is better than nothing. Do not sit there and try to tell them exactly how they should lose weight if they haven't asked your opinion.
I get a lot of people trying to tell me all day how to lose weight. The one I hear the most is I need to be out there walking five miles a day. Guess what? Well, not anymore, but I was over 600 pounds. I have a hip that needs replaced and a knee that needs replaced. A hundred feet's about all I can get, especially my weight. Telling me I need to walk five miles a day, three miles a day isn't helping. Telling me I need to run when I literally physically can't isn't helping. So you want to help these people, get them the help they need. Do not tell them they're okay like they are, though. Because if you think they're okay like they are, you're delusional or you're sick. Now, let's talk about body shaming. Everything I just said would be considered body shaming by the definition. Now, I think of body shaming as actually being mean to somebody because of their body. And you should never do that. Um, me, fortunately, and my likeness as a big old fat person has been displayed hundreds of millions of times. I mean, just between... My YouTube, my Facebook, my TikTok, and my Instagram, I've I've been seen over 3 million times. There are people who put meme videos of me. It's literally been seen 20, 30 million times each. And there's probably a thousand different channels and on between TikTok and YouTube that've put videos out of me. Any of them get anywhere from five views to, like I said, some literally 25, 30 million views. I'm fortunate. I have received very little body shaming. I guarantee you I've seen, of all the comments that I've actually seen, uh, less than 1% shaming me for being the big old fat guy that I am. Um, but that's being mean. You know, your big fat friend that I was talking about or loved one, you can be mean to them, but you can be critical. See, that's my problem with the definition of body shaming. Criticizing, period, is considered shaming. So you saying, hey, you know, you got 13 chins and a whole extra butt cheek. Maybe you need to do something about it. That's considered body shame. And I, of course, say it the way I'm saying it would be. But no, according to the, you know, the accepted definition that I found online on several different re references, being any kind of criticism of somebody's body is body shaming. Don't get me wrong. The, the person who's real thin and can't gain weight, you know, you get this 105-pound adult and they can't gain weight, don't body shame them. That's wrong. You should not make fun of that person. The uh, the female who's not as developed in the way she liked or the way you think she should be. No, you don't body shame that. You can't comment on that. That's wrong. That's just how she is or how he is. Um, the, the guy who's carrying around an extra 30 pounds. You know what? Don't body shame him. Don't be mean. But if you have a loved one in your life who is, you know, 150, 200 pounds, 300 pounds overweight, like I said, body shame them by definition. Don't be mean to them. But don't be, oh, you're wonderful like you are. Body positivity is BS. And as for anybody who thinks that I'm trying to be an example of it, I'm not. I am shaming my own body, and it's okay. But you shame me, I'm going to punch you in the nose. Anyway, it's just my rant, guys. It was kind of on my mind. It may not make a bunch of sense. Anyway, that's just what I had to say today. Love you guys. Thanks for following. Click that like and subscribe if you, if, if you don't mind. It, it helps. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, I'll see you all next time. God bless you all. Roll Tide.